welcome back to day five of 12 integrals. Thank you very much for sticking around, by the way. And today, what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be integrating something. So let's just bring out what we're going to be integrating today. We're going to be integrating cosine x divided by sine x plus cosine x with respect to x. And that's it. There's, there's nothing else to it. Um, do you think I have an answer? Well, let's take a look at the answers. And so because this show is 12 integrals, obviously there must be some sort of trick that you could do in order to make this integral easier. And to make our lives easier, I'm gonna be considering another integral at the same time, which is sine of x divided by sine of x plus cosine of x. Now you're probably already thinking, how is evaluating two integrals easier than evaluating one. Okay, so first of all, let's make our lives a bit easier. I'm going to call this integral i, and I'm going to call this integral j. So what happens if we add i and j together? It's basically like adding these two integrals together. So we have the integral of cos x divided by cos x plus sine x dx, plus the integral of sine x divided by cos x plus sine x dx. Now, as you can see here, when we add two integrals together, it's like we're integrating the two functions added together. So instead of writing this, I can group these two functions together. And what we get is we'll get cos x plus sine x divided by cos x plus sine x dx. You can, um, you can check this. It's just simple algebra. But as you can see here, cos x plus sine x on the top and cos x plus sine x on the bottom cancels out and so what you're left with is just the integral of dx because this is just one right and the integral of one with respect to x will just give you x so that's pretty neat isn't it so now what we can try to do is subtract i with j what do we get there now this one is in fact a bit trickier um but we're just going to skip the the subtracting bit and what you're going to get if you try to subtract this, you'll get cos x minus sine of x divided by cos of x plus sine of x dx. Now this part is where you actually need to be able to see something really interesting. And so because we need to see, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to zoom in a bit. So what we have here is we have cos x plus sine of x at the bottom and the the other bit at the top, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a bit of very cheeky substitution. I'm going to let u equal to cos x plus sine of x. And so if you evaluate its derivative, its differential, du divided by dx, which is equal to minus sine of x plus cosine of x. This is just when you differentiate this, right? You'll get that, which means that du which is equal to minus sine x plus cosine of x dx. This is exactly what we have at the top over here, right? So instead of this integral, I'm going to use this substitution and substitute it in here. And so what you have is the top bit would just become du divided by the bottom bit, which is just u. Now this if you've done calculus before, you realize that this would just come out as a natural log. So this would be, this would give you the natural log of u. But because u is cos x plus sine of x, you could change this into saying it equals to natural log of cos of x plus sine of x. And so now all of that work, what you've come out with is you know that i plus j equals x and i minus j equals the natural log of cos x plus sine of x where i and j is what we defined earlier up there and so the integral that we're interested in this question is this one so what we're trying to do here the final bit is we're trying to work out what i is so if i add both these two equations together what i will get is i will get 2i equal to x plus the natural log of cos x plus sine of x. And so i equal to one half of x plus the natural log 
of cos of x plus sine x. And because it's an indefinite integral, of course, you want to add a plus c at the end of that. So there is your final answer. And there we go. We have finally worked out that integral that we were interested in. And rather easily too, if you ask me. Anyways, that's it for the video today. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again tomorrow.